Danny Colella, like we said before, he has over 100 points this year. Bedford was, had, has had a great run, 40 straight games, 10 seconds. They got their championship wrapped up. They stepped outside the box, they lose possession, but here we go. Congratulations to Bedford Bulldogs, 2013. Undefeated, 21-0, great season, phenomenal team. They've had their uh, three or four opportunities to uh, lose games and, and they've found a way to win them, whether it's against D1 teams or D2 teams. And they've, uh, they've done an unbelievable job of keeping it together. Matt Gerard's team, Bedford, we're proud of you. Bulldogs, great job. Congratulations on a phenomenal season. We're going to send this down to our field camera right now and Bill Lenahan. How you doing? Please draw your attention to the midfield where the head coaches of each team will join the representatives of the NHIAA to receive their awards. Congratulations to head coach Josh Lewis and the runner-up Gosstown Grizzlies. Number two, Austin Schaefer. Number four, Kyle Walker. Number seven, Andrew Krish. Right, go. Happy? Get that. Get my stuff. You my info? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Great job. Great job. Congrats. Awesome season. Unreal. Hey, we'll come back. Keep rolling. Shake my hand. Get your medal. 40. 40 in a row. Shake my hand. Get your medal. Great job. Boys, good job. Come back. Matt doesn't want to talk to me. Dave, how many tonight? Uh, Four. You lose count? Nah, four. How many are you going to get at Bentley? Hopefully a lot. We wish you well. Great All right. career. All right, thank you. Great career, man. Who else? Who else is in, boys? Jeff, come on. <laughs> Jeff, it's on. It's live. UConn, you going to play? Uh, maybe we should be in the murals. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you're ready to play. I'm not so sure about Congratulations. That, but, uh, Great career at Bedford. Thank you. It was fun. It was fun to watch you. Jason, I got, I got the twin in here. Jason will talk to me. Jason's How many tonight? Four, I think. They came to me at the end of uh, third quarter and they said, was that yours? Captain. Captain. Go ahead. Hey, uh, Sully, so, anything? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Grande, how many years have you been coaching Bedford? Bedford Youth? Bedford Youth all the way through. High school from the 12, beginning, right? 12, 13 years. You've got all your boys gone through? Yes, they have. Phenomenal. Phenomenal run for the boys. So you got, you got 40 in a row. You think they're going to go D1 next year? We certainly hope so. You petition to go D1, right? Not, it's not my call, as you know. We know, we know, we know. I think they made a statement tonight, though. Yeah, 
Shout out to Blake. Thank you. Great, great time. Good luck at UNH. Danny, congratulations. Is that fun, man? I'll play another one already. Oh. Awesome game. Hey, great game, man. Thank you. What was the penalty for? Penalty? I hit the kid too hard. He didn't like it. Okay. <laughs> the other players get used to it the rest of the career, right? Yeah. Jeremy? Next year. Next year, man. Hey, three P. Come on, Sam. You gonna work on it? Aaron, great game. Thank you very much. Great game. Awesome. We'll see you next year, right? You'll all be back. Hey, Matt. You lose count of how many saves tonight? Uh, I don't know. Phenomenal start. He had three or four great <laughs> saves in the first quarter. It set the uh, tempo for the game. Phenomenal career. You won 40 games in a row. What yeah. do you have to say about that? Uh, you know, it's it's collectively just a lot of hard work by all the boys out here. You know, we're out there every single day on the practice field, just working as hard as we can. Um, and you know, luckily enough, we've been able to string together a couple wins. It's a great run, great ride. Keep it going. You get to come back next year and do it again. Colin, great face-offs tonight. Good job. Hey, get another year out of this too, right? Yeah. It'd be fun to be back. Congrats, Duncan. Awesome, man. Hey, hey, boys, after, I'm going to get all the seniors together, too. All right. Hey, listen up, gentlemen. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of what we've accomplished tonight. I, over the last couple of years, I had two state titles in a row, two back-to-back -back undefeated seasons, fellas. It doesn't get better than that. There's nothing else we can do. All right, there's a great effort all around tonight. Seniors, break us down. Yeah! Family! Family. Family on three, boys. Come on. One, two, three! Family! Hey, congrats, man. Thank you. Long Thank ride. You. Was. Long ride. Real quick. Yeah. Yeah. This will be a good one, too. Where are they going? Where are we going? Uh, you know what? Yeah, with that in the background, yeah, this is good right here. Same thing. I'm just going to be off to the side. I'm going to eavesdrop on your interview. Okay? I just want to get a couple of questions. That's right. Yeah, no. This is fine. I just don't want to ask him twice. Right. So. Oh. Stereo. 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 Good guys. Repeat, boys. Congrats. We're good. Yeah, sure, definitely. Yeah. Roger, nice to meet you. Hey, Nick, nice to meet you. Go it's about 40 in a row. It's 40 in a row, yeah. So you ended three years ago, what, you make the finals? We, no, we lost in the uh, semifinals with uh, 1.9 seconds ago in June of 2011. So you're, what, 21 and 0 this year, and then? We were 19 and 0 last year, 21 and 0 this year. And you're 17. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, thoughts on tonight? Well, you know, I, I asked the guys for, you know, 48 minutes of, of solid lacrosse, and I, I think I'm very happy with the outcome, and. I think we got 48 straight minutes. Um, and any any uh, particular words for the kids? I mean, you beat Gosstown pretty easy the regular season. Was it? Were you worried about getting them up for the game? Or well, I don't think it was a matter of of worrying about getting them up. I, I think it was the fact that we had to to game plan for a lot of different things. Um, you know, we were game planning for the zone. We were game planning for shutoff. We were game planning for the stall. I think it was just getting everything together before tonight. 
and, and we did that in practice, so I think they did a good job of that. Do you think uh, with Bo getting up on you at halftime, did that kind of send a message to the kids that they're going to have to work for this? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, falling behind in the bowl game, um, you know, and coming back the way we did, uh, you know, instilled a lot of confidence in us, you know, if we trailed because we only only trailed in, in really a couple games all season. So to be able to, to come back the way we did in that second half, you know, definitely helped us moving with some momentum tonight. How would you describe the last two years? Incredible. Um, you know, I, I don't, I can't really put it into words how hard these kids have worked. Uh, over the last two years to get to this point. And I'm, I'm really proud of all of them. The senior class has, has done an amazing job over the last couple of years, and, and you know, I, I couldn't be prouder. Were you a D2 three years ago, or did you just move Yeah, up we've right? always been Division II. Um, Going to move up, or any plans to do that? We, we, we'd love to. Um, you know, I, I think that's it's out of our control. You know, we're not the ones who uh, who make that decision, but we would love to. But there's been a there's been a petition, or you've asked NHIA to go up to Division One. Well, that's... Uh, that's something that our athletic director uh, handles internally um, for us. So, um, you know, we would like to, but uh, that's not in our control. Um, somebody, if somebody were to ask you about your team, what would you say strengths are? Is it, you know, you got a lot of offensive weapons, obviously. Would it be that, or are there other aspects? Well, I think, I think one thing that we've done a really good job of all year is in our riding game. Um, you know, we forced uh, three turnovers in the second half against Bo. Uh, in the final four and we scored two goals off of it in the second half so you know outside of our offense which you know it's put up over 300 goals this year our, our defense is is you know under 100 i believe um you know those two have been very good strengths but you know we do a lot of other things well too matt you survived three or four tests during the season what do you think the uh, uh, you know you, the 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 one you overcame the most what, what was the toughest game was it was it in Hanover? Well, I think the toughest game in the regular season for us having to battle back was, was believe it or not, Merrimack. You know, we fell down in Merrimack, uh, I believe it was, you know, six to two or five to two in the third quarter. And we had to battle back, you know, and we were without Taylor Wallace in that game with, with uh, you know, a sore knee. You know, we had to rely on some other guys that day and, and you know, our seniors picked us up and, and got us through that game. So, you know, I would, I would say it was a tough one for us. Congratulations, 40 wins in a row. Thank you. You've worked very much. hard at it. You've been at Bedford from day one, from the whole organization. My kids have played for you for since day one. And keep the ride going as long as yep. you can. This that's, is a fun time. That's the goal. <laughs> that is the goal. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much.